Hey guys, from the Soy Sass Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today I had a rough day, chipped my teeth, gotta go to the dentist tomorrow. There's one thing that nobody looks forward to. But the show must continue. So today we have this Ta -da! Fuente Fuente Opus X. Chateau La Fuente Rare Estate Reserve 1992 150th Anniversary LJ Peretti Co. I think that's as far as this name goes. Yeah. I've touched it so much that it's got fingerprints and stuff on it, but we will check out the cigar right now. Here we go. Fuente Fuente Opus X LJ Peretti Toro is six and three quarter by 50. Actually, that's Toro Extra. But, you know, one of those things. Comes in a box of 10. Half wheel listed as $320 a box. I bought it at roughly $350 a box plus tax, $371.88. So that makes each one of them roughly $32, $35 or 37 however you want to see it the blend as usual it will be a dominican piero as we can tell but they say that the blend is very similar to the 25th anniversary opus x also in this green band but not identical and that's all we got for this particular cigar let's get started okay we're back so as you can see i pick up one that has a little hole in the center Maybe that's the way it says welcome Tony because I already picked up the stand for you. Now the jar is going to be perfect. Or this might just be a bad one. But the story goes, this one, this review is brought to you by JB, Rick, and um, Midnight Cigar, Eric. We're having a conversation and I think JB was like, you know, Boston had a cigar shop that had that made Opus X and... You know, it's pretty big. Uh, it's pretty famous cigar shop, something like that. And I was like, no way, no way. And he told me the cigar shop name. I searched it out. I was like, that is a cigar shop that I only been once and never want to go back again. And because they don't have a selection that I like, it's very particular. And more than half their stuff are uh, pipe based. They have like, it fits like three people there. Okay. It has three seats and sometimes they don't even have a seat. Now, keep in mind, the last time I went there looks different than this time I went there. They kind of rearranged it a little bit, but still feels like not my kind of place. Okay. Uh, I went in there, had some little bit of conversation, and finally they were able to allow me to buy the cigar because they literally don't have it on the shelf. You, you kind of have to ask and they will tell you they don't have it. <laughs> and, and then like, you know, enough convincing, they will say they have it. So it's one of those things. Uh, but, you know, still, I'm thankful for them to allow me to buy it just for, you know, like, hey, this Asian guy want to buy it. I'm just going to sell it to him because uh, I trust that he's not going to sell it on the second market. I'm not going to sell it on the second market. So don't worry about that. So now that I have a cigar, let's get started. If I can get this off. Off. Come on. You know what? I just get the whole thing off. There we go. Woof. See you there. 
Woodsy, Cedar, that's it. He did tell me to wait three months, but I can't be waiting three months to smoke this. <laughs> Okay. Well, the top is filled, so don't know why this is missing a little bit of stuff here. Fermented, almost raisin-like woodsiness. Kind of sweet, too. All right. I don't want to wait too long. Ooh. Put my finger in there. That's what she said. <laughs> Alright, the draw is weird. Cedary, little bit peppery. Little bit fermentiness, a little bit of bongyar, and some weird fainting goes away sweetness. It's almost like an apple tartness, but it doesn't taste like apple. It's faded. It's a little bit faded. So like this, like this pepper is very sharp. Woodsiness is very sharp, and the sweetness and the 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 the, the fermentiness kind of fades. Like what? Not watered down, but fades. It's like barely there, but fades. So something is really really sharp and noticeable, and something is really really fainting. A uh, whole whiff of Bangya. Okay. Um, let me smoke one third. We'll be right back. Okay, I think we're at first third because this thing's so long and you kind of get have to gauge where the first third is. Up on light up, you know, there's not much going on, but as you smoke into it, it gets pepper, it gets woodsiness, and it gets this fruitiness to it. Um, for me, it's more like a, like a tart fruit. And then the more I smoke it, it, it deviates to from like, you know, maybe like an apple to some sort of like dark fruit um, or heavier fruit that has that. Really weird meaty taste. <laughs> it's sweet. It's sweet. Okay. And, and the pepper is still kind of there. It's like very just hinting there. It's just like almost not existent, but it's there. So, you know, we got to very really interesting cigars here. It's not, it's definitely not the top end. Um, I think the strength somewhere may be approaching medium for what it is. But that fruitiness is almost geared towards almost to a floral level. There is a weird aftertone of some sort of walnut nuttiness, some sort. But it's not very apparent. It's just on, you know, in the back end. And at first, I, I taste a little bit barnier, but that barnier is just gone. It's just gone. So, first third, not too bad. Let's get into a second third. See where we go. All right, where is second third? Second third, I think it got sweeter. I think it tastes like not peach fig. It tastes like fig. Um, 
tastes sweeter uh, and has a little bit more like uh, star anise and maybe like licorice stick sweetness to it. It's interesting. It almost it's almost uncharacteristic of Alpes, but it's interesting. It's sweet. It's nice. Uh, it's got a lot of different notes. I enjoy smoking it right now. Really, I do. So, not bad. Not bad. Second, third. I do feel like now the, the strings of... Mm, I think it's a solid medium. I think it's solid medium. So, getting a little bit more sweetness. Smoke time is quite long. Uh, draws pretty good. Smokes pretty good. They know me. They remove a stand for me. So... Um, I will continue to smoke this last third. You know what? Let me show you the band. So they say the band is the same band minus the 25th anniversary band, the Green Opus X band. There we go. So that's all we got. Standard Opus X band, but green, all right? Pretty cool. I like it, you know? I don't know if I have another band that's like that. I, 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 I thought I saved all the Opus X band, so let me, let me see. Nope, because the other green band I have is just the bottom. Just the bottom is green. Just the bottom is green. And it's white on the half. So it's not that. I don't have that, I think. I don't have that band for comparison. Yep, that's all I got. But I will save this one in case I do get a 25th in the future. We'll compare it, see if it's the same one. Too many bands. Uh, Nope, I don't have it for sure. All right, so I don't have it, but if I got it, I'll show it to you. So, be right back, Laster. All right, all done. So, I would say Laster, the woodsy flavor toned down. Fruity flavor is still there. Sweetness is still there. A little bit pepper and heat. It burns a little hot. But overall, it's not too bad. I enjoy that sweetness. I enjoy the cigar overall. So, in terms of price, without the box, I give about 25 to 30 bucks. With the box, 32-ish, 33. All right, so without the box, you get a range, depends how much you enjoy it. With the box, I think 33 will be a fair price. So it's not very far from what they're setting. I think their original MSO here was like 32. And somehow it became higher. But uh, 32, 33 is where it's at. I think this uh, this cigar is properly priced if you can get it properly priced. But if not, then it's not. Like it does burn hot. I, I, I took my hat off because it's hot. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that was a pretty good cigar. I enjoyed it. I'm going to send some to Eric. Eric will be doing the review as well, I'm pretty sure. And <clears throat> obviously, there's some going um, JB's way because JB told me where that cigar was. So I went to find it. So there's one cigar going JB's way as well. I hope you enjoy it. And that will be it for this cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and uh, let me know about your experience. I heard a lot of people don't like the cigar and I, I would like to know what the experience is. And make sure to check out our podcast. We have a new way of doing our podcast. It's coming out soon. And we also have swag. Not wearing today, but we do have swag. And we have membership to get some reviews early. At the same time, you get to watch the video version of our podcast. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.